Right, in today's vlog, my friends, regular viewers of the channel will know that I have been here before. That's right, Miller and Carter. It's part of a chain, it's part of a group. It's actually owned here, I've done all my research, by Mitchells and Butlers, and they own other chains and other pubs, such as All Bar One, Village Pub and Kitchen, uh, Browns, Innkeeper's Lodge. Uh, they also own uh, Toby Carvery. Uh, they own um, sizzling pubs, many of different ones as well, and they also they also sell, so they say, over one million steaks a year, and all their beef uh, that they serve is from traceable uh, from field to fork. We're not, we're not interested in all that garbage, though. Are we? What we want to know is what does it look like, what does it taste like, and more importantly. How much? That's what we want to know. Is it good value for money? So that's what we're going to go. go that's what we're going to do today. I'm not re-recording this. You watch the end. I've done this about five times. We're going to go for the ribeye steak, my friends. We're going to go for their beef dripping gravy as well, which is supposed to be phenomenal. We're going to go for their chips uh, and... Um, we'll see how much it comes to. We'll see what it tastes like and see what it's cooked like. I'm going to have it... I'm going to have it medium. Now, I don't want it so that you can slap it and a good vet can get it back to uh, life again. I can see all in the comments now. All cremated and it's like the sole of my shoe. Uh, so we're going to try and get it to, to meet. We'll have it medium and see. Uh, you can always tell whether a good steakhouse, if you ask for it medium, how it actually comes because it's very difficult to get the steak right. Uh, or that's from my experience it has been anyway. Not if you're a good chef. Uh, like Chef Dave, uh, who you'll have seen on the channel, who's now a TikTok star himself. Dave, if you're watching, hello there. So that's where we're heading today, Miller and Carter. If you are new to the channel, do hit that subscribe button. Click that little bell for notifications of when I upload new videos. Make sure you hit that bell because that gives you a notification of when I've uploaded a video. Now, without further ado, my friends, let's go and get a ribeye. Now, it's a while ago since I've done the Miller and Carter vlog, and I have to say, I can't remember what score I gave it. I can't remember what it was like, to be honest. I've done, I've eaten that many full English breakfasts and fish and chips in between. Um, I just can't remember it, but uh, you'll have to go back and have a look at that one anyway. What I do remember, however, is that in the comments section, it was very, very divided about what Milling, Miller and Carter was actually like. There was lots of people saying, oh, you know, it's a tacky place and blah, blah, blah. Other people saying they absolutely loved it. Um, very, very divided in the comments section. I do remember that. Please don't roll back. Don't you just love it when people just roll back before they move just don't put your handbrake on don't roll back um so i do remember that it was very divided and i also remember uh people telling me that's why i'm going back um actually i'm going back because i i'm in the office tonight i fancied the steak uh i'm not up at sarah's wow that sun's bright um i'm not up at sarah's and i fancied the steak and i thought do you know what i'll go to miller and carter and i'll re-review it uh, but I do remember him saying that have something else. I had the fillet steak and he said you should have had the ribeye and you should have had the special gravy. So uh, that's what we're going to do and I'm looking forward to it. However, I've got a quick question for you that I want you to pop in the comment section down below. Do you like your steak? Either A, rare, B, medium or C, well done because I used to always have my steak well done. Wherever I went, well done steak. Could not abide to see any blood in it or anything like that. However, since I've been in the States and spent 12 years in the States, it changed me because um, American viewers, you'll be able to say, you have your steaks, rare mainly, uh, and a good chef, will tell you that it, it needs to be rare, but I can't handle rare, I'm gonna go medium. Uh, rare for me. 
is it blue that they call it oh, no I, I can't do that but i will go medium i do like it medium now otherwise it just gets like the sole of a shoe and i, I really have to think if you do it well done there's no taste in it whatsoever you, you lose all the taste so anyway there we go uh comments in the section in the comment section down below come on i'm actually i am looking forward to this and i always say that but to, today i was just gonna go and have a steak and i thought i'll film it i'll film it i'll take you with me and uh you can uh, you can keep me company because i haven't got anybody else today so there we go come on Don't you just love rush hour? Right, well, while I'm stuck in traffic again, another question for you. Um, with steaks, what's your favourite steak? I mean, my favourite steak, I always go for the fillet steak uh, or a fillet mignon. Um, I, to be honest, if I'm being perfectly honest with you, I always go to Aldi. Um, I go and get two fillet steaks. Uh, Sarah cooks them and we have them with a salad um, and a little bit of... Um, glaze over the top of them and uh, and that's that's how we eat our steaks and uh, you know a few tomatoes with it a few mushrooms uh, and we don't have any chips like that i eat i eat relatively healthy uh, when i'm not eating on the channel uh, to try and counterbalance it uh, and sarah keeps me in line there so that's what we um that's what we tend to do however um different steaks i did the i did the fillet steak here before i'm pretty sure i did anyway you can correct me if i'm wrong and people was like, you chose the wrong steak. I do remember that. A lot of people saying, you chose the wrong steak. You should have gone for the ribeye. So that's what I'm going to go for now. Going to go for the ribeye. Um, so what's your favourite? Pop it in the comment section down below. I'll tell you what though. My favourite. Bernie Steakhouse. Who didn't love a Bernie Steakhouse back in the day with a prawn cocktail to start with? Oh, hey, heaven. Just causing a little bit of a tail bite there from them roadworks. It literally is. This is the road from Mansfield right into Nottingham. And it's just a massive tail bite because of that one one roadblock there. Roadworks. Crazy. Anyway, I'm out of it now. So I'm only a couple of minutes away now from Miller and Carter. I was going to say I'm super excited then easy i'm not doing that anymore i'm not super excited i'm looking forward to it i'm peckish but i'm not super excited you're super excited if you win the lottery aren't you you're not super excited for having a ribeye steak or are you come on onwards Nice location, I have to say. Beautiful sunset as well. I'm going to park as far away as I can, at right at the end of the car park, so nobody else can park next to me. And you can guarantee, when I get back, somebody will be parked right next to me. Here we go. Right, let's get in there. I'll just uh, park up. Oh, dear. I tell you what, I'm working up an appetite, I have to say. Uh, whoever's in that roadblock there, who's having that, uh, whoever's in that, um, what is it? 
traffic jam. Blimey, they're not going to be having their dinner for a while, are they? Right, come on. Here we go. Right. I think, I think that'll do us. Engine off, motor off, computer off, whatever it is, off, milk float off. Come on. Right, here we are, Millet and Quarter. Let's get in there. Don't forget, we're marking this out of 10. I want you guys to mark it out of 10 on looks and on price. Big question is, I wonder how many chips we get? We can normally count them on two hands. Come on. Right, okay, my friends. So, before we go any further, take a close look at the menu. Right, so there we go. So far, I've got to say, um, I've just ordered a Diet Pepsi and um, Heidi's come over uh, the uh, the server, you have to say now, to be politically correct. Somebody actually said waitress in the comment section the other day, but I think it's server now. Am I right? Can you say waiter and waitress? You've got to be so careful these days. Um, anyway, she's absolutely fantastic. The service so far very very friendly i have to say so um, there we go um, as i say uh, when she comes back over in a moment i've asked her to give me five minutes i'm going to order the uh, the ribeye the 16 ounce ribeye i'm going to order the chips i'm going to have the uh, the beef dripping sauce and i think they give you like a, a lettuce with something on it as well as a side side plate or they did last time from from memory anyway For any starters. Am I going for any see you can hear a voice, but I'm not putting a put her on camera. <laughs> just in case she gives me a lawsuit for putting her on camera. Um I'm gonna, no, I think I'll be alright with starters. Do you get like a lettuce or something? Yeah, so a lettuce wedge comes out just before you steak. Brilliant, that's great. We'll 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 go over then for the ribeye, the yeah. sixteen ounce. Sixteen ounce alright. How about that cooking? Um I'm gonna go medium. I would say normally I'd I normally go medium to well, but I'll go medium. Do you recommend it? Chef you recommend it medium? Medium. Okay, we'll go for medium. We'll go for the chips. Yep, what steak sauce would you like to go for? Uh, I'm told, so I'm told, um, I'm told that the beef dripping sauce is that the, that's the most famous one, isn't it? Yeah, it, it is good. Yeah, it is really so I'm going to go for the beef dripping sauce. Well, and what about your lettuce wedge? 
lettuce. Well, can you have like a sauce from that? Yeah, do you want to read them out to you? Yeah, go on, fire yeah. away. So we do a bacon and honey mustard, Stilton and blue cheese, garlic mayonnaise, butternut rice with croutons or vinaigrette. I'm going to go bacon and honey mustard. Good choice. Yeah. Uh, did you say that you'd like to go for the chunky chips? Uh, the chunky chips, please. Yeah, that's brilliant. Thank you very okay. much. Are you going for any sides with those? Any garlic mushrooms or any mac and cheese? Oh, mac and cheese. Mac and cheese. See, mac and cheese is controversial, isn't it? Nobody likes mac and cheese in the UK. I, I love it. It's a big I like it. Time. I like it, but it's trying to upsell me. Um, <laughs> I'm going to uh, I'm gonna be all right with that. Thank you. Perfect. So you've got the 16 ounce ribeye medium with a beef dripping, honey wedge and the chocolate cup chunky chips. That's fantastic. Thank you very much. I'll send that through. Brilliant. Thank you very much. Take your menu or do you want to keep it? Um, I'll keep this for now. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you. Right, so I've got the uh, bacon and honey mustard uh, lettuce uh, wedge. Got my steak knife there as well. Um, I have to say, it looks very fresh. Um, take a closer look, my friends. So let's cut into this, very crispy. We have very fresh lettuce there. Mm. Very refreshing, refreshes the palate and sets you up ready for the main course. Right, I'll eat this and then uh, we'll uh, await the main course. Mm. Right, okay my friends, so we've got the main course now, we've got the uh, ribeye steak here, we've got the uh, the chips, the chunky chips, and we've got the beef dripping sauce as well, but before we go any further, take a closer look my friends. Right, so it all looks uh, very good, my friends. I've uh, decanted the chips on there, the chunky chips. We've got an onion loaf here as well. Uh, it's kind of a twist on an onion ring. Um, you know, I'm gonna start with that. Um, it looks quite nice. It looks like a caramelized onion. That's very nice. Very, very tasty. Mm, I like that, a bit of a twist. Right, we'll cut into the steak. In fact, I'm going to cut into this, I'm going to bring you closer and you can have a look uh, as I cut into it. Right, there we go. So it is actually done medium, I'd say. Wow. That is very, very tasty. Very tender. I thought first when I was cutting into it, I thought it's tougher to cut than a fillet steak, which it will be. But when you bite into it, the meat is literally just melting. Mmm. That is absolutely gorgeous. Like, oh, mm. Really nice. Um, Thank you. Enjoy. Thank you. <laughs> that sauce is unbelievable. 
Oh, I'm going to dip a chip into it. Chips for me, cooked to perfection. Absolutely gorgeous. I have to say, I do like the twist on the onion ring. I mean, I do like an onion ring, as you know, if you're a regular viewer to the channel, but I do like this twist on the onion ring. Very tasty. Right, I'm gonna eat this, come back to you and mark it out of 10. But just look at that. Mm. Beautiful, right, see you guys in a minute. Right, there we go, all finished. A little bit of gristle on there, uh, which is to be expected on a ribeye, uh, I think personally anyway. Um, uh, I think I'll round this up outside, though, as, as we normally do, rather than shout my head off. There's lots of people coming in now and families, so um, yeah, we'll round this up outside. But service, I've got to say, absolutely spot on, and it's nice to see really, really good service at the moment, so fantastic. Thank you very much, that's brilliant. Uh, I'll grab the bill, please. Yes. Thank you. Right, let's get down to business. Hopefully you can see me there. I'm outside uh, around the back. So first things first, uh, the bill uh, came to, are you ready for this? Uh, £37.15. Uh, there was no service charge added, uh, I may say. That was for a large Pepsi Max there, which was £3.65. Um, the ribeye was £32.50. Uh, an upgraded chunky chips for a pound there as well um i left a tip i will say uh, of five pound for heidi because everywhere i've been there's been chains um in a lot of the recent videos and vlogs that i've done the service has been really bad i have to say and here um she was very very helpful very friendly couldn't do enough wasn't overly um coming to the table a lot which is what you want you don't want them overly coming to the table while you're eating and disturbing you but she was i'd, I'd say she was absolutely spot on um impeccable service there from heidi so uh, if you're watching heidi uh then uh, fantastic uh, you've uh, done miller and carter proud um the uh, onion cake, um, good spin on onion rings. However, I prefer onion rings myself, I have to say. Um, but it is a different spin on it. Um, 
but I do prefer an onion ring. But it, they were very, very tasty, like a caramelised onion, uh, and yeah, tasty. But I'd, I'd, as I say, prefer onion rings. Um, the chips, uh, the chunky chips, uh, done cooked to perfection, uh, as you saw on the B-roll there. If you didn't see it, uh, then spin back and have a look at it. Um, crispiness on the outside, fluffy on the end, I always say that, not too greasy. Um, for me, perfect. Um, the steak itself, I'm going to say, uh, again, cooked to perfection. I asked for it medium. Uh, I'd say that was medium. I mean, a lot of people differ on how they say, how they want a steak and what medium is. I would say that was medium. Uh, there wasn't too much blood coming out of it. So uh, for me, uh, it was great. There was a little bit of fat left on it at the end, but I think that's to be expected there uh, with the ribeye. Um, every ribeye that I've had has always had a little bit of gristle on it or whatever. Um, I normally have a fillet steak and there's very, very rarely any gristle on, the, on a fillet steak. Um, so uh, the, the beef dripping sauce, by the way, oh my word, that was tasty, absolutely tasty. I loved it. Um, yeah, I could and dipping the chips in that. Oh, bonus. Um, so um, I'm going to go. Can't remember what I gave it last time. I may have given it a ten. I'm going to go nine five, only because I personally. Um, I prefer a, a fillet steak, and um, but that's just my opinion, really. But um, service-wise, service-wise is a ten. I mean, you can't get any better than that. I've said uh, Heidi was fantastic. So, uh, and and that is what you want, and that what that is what makes a meal uh, now as well. Um, I always say service, food, ambiance. It's 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 a an amalgamation of them all, really, a fusion of them all. And service in every chain that I've been in recently has been abysmal. So it made a fantastic change. So uh, superb. So there we go. I think that's good. Nine five. I, I, I should have said a, a ten, but there's a little bit of gristle on it. But I think nine five spot on. What do you think? Pop your um, pop your score in the comment section down below. Uh, price wise, I mean, it, I. I personally think, uh, as a treat, I don't think that's too bad, personally. So, um, I mean, if you've got a family, it's a little, little bit more. But they do do offers as well, don't forget. And you don't have to have... I did that for the camera. Personally, if I came back, that steak was huge, really. Uh, I would go for a smaller steak. Uh, it was a bit, a bit big, but I ate it all. Anyway, that's all from me today. Do hit the subscribe button. Click that little bell for notifications when I upload new videos. And I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm going for a lie down now. <laughs> and I'm going to go for the right steak this time. I am going for... I'm going to go for the proper steak. I'm going to, just crap that. I'm going to start all this again. Right, in today's vlog, my friends. Well, we've done this one before. However, however, you'll remember I've done it. That's crap as well. Right, in today's vlog, my friends, we're off to Miller and Carter. Now, you will know that I have been to Miller and Carter before. However, lots of you said I had the wrong steak and I should have had a... Uh, that's, I can't get this right. I just can't get it right. Duh. Right, in today's vlog, my friends, I am off to Miller and Carter. Now, viewers of the channel, regular viewers of the channel, will know that I've been to Miller and Carter before. I can't... Mm, 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 mm.